Shalom and welcome. We are the Hebrew, Hebrew sisters. sisters. We love bringing to you every week a brand new word in Hebrew or a Hebrew name of the Lord. This week, this month, we've got some of the greatest words in Hebrew, ones that really our hearts desire is that you'll not just listen and think about the word, but you will feel the word. You see, that's what's so important about the Hebrew language. It's not just something that's a, a flat line, so right. to speak. <laughs> it is something that you feel. It creates beautiful images and brings you to a place of being connected in your emotions mm -hmm. with the realm of heaven. You mm -hmm. can't get better than that. That's I love so good. Hebrew. <laughs> and I can understand why the first part, 80% of the whole Bible, what people call Old Testament and New Testament, 80% mm -hmm. was written in the Hebrew language. So today, the word that we're going to talk about is this fabulous word. The word is... Sim Ha Sim Ha S I M C H A Sim Ha Oh, I love this word. Darla, what does that word mean? <laughs> well, as we get going in this, hey, if you are enjoying these. Uh, teachings, give us a thumbs up right down there at the bottom of the screen, as well as you can see some of the links that are attached and you can find a lot of other good things that Yana and I do as well. So as we get going today, let me just add, not only do we feel it and think it, but as Hebrews, we act on it. Oh, I love that. Right. Because this word calls for an action. And that's what another thing that makes Hebrew so different. You don't just say it, you right. actually do it. So what that means Come is on. <laughs> that we have this little saying, the Greeks and the Romans talk about it, the Hebrews do it. And so another unique aspect of the Hebrew language, it's more about what you do than what you say. And I can right. think about a lot of words mm -hmm. that that really mm -hmm. will change a person's life. Right. Okay, so we're talking about the word simcha. Simcha. Simcha means a joyous celebration. And this is why, he, as Hebrews, when we say joyous celebration, we mean a joyous celebration. If you've ever been in Israel, when they are celebrating uh, a bar mitzvah or oh. one of the feasts of the Lord, there is dancing, there is glory, there is joy, there Singing. is shouting. Oh, it is throwing a, candy. Oh, it is, and you know, as you're a passerby, there's no way you can just stop and go. What are they doing? All of a sudden, we've had our groups there, and we begin to dance. We begin to sing. We join in with them, and Israelis absolutely love that because they understand simcha. So the word simcha is a samich, a mem, a chet, and a hey, simcha. The definition, of course, is gladness, uh, gaiety, meaning a joyous, glorious celebration and spontaneous happiness begins to take place. And so really what this is, is an energy that That's you get it. caught up into. It's like a wave and Ooh. you catch the wave and you ride it in or it catches you unaware and you just get caught up in it and start tumbling. <laughs> but it's an energy, <laughs> right? That's exactly, I'm, I'm laughing because I have a few uh, moments in life where that actually happened. I got caught up in a wave and tumbled. <laughs> Simcha catches you throws you all around on the inside and it overtakes you. Yeah. So that must have been what was meant when the Lord talked about taking off the, 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 um, 
ashes and coming out of mourning and mm -hmm. putting on the cloak right. of celebration, garments. the cloak of the garments of That's joy. Right. Mm -hmm. In other words, if you put on joy, if you put on simcha, you're going to feel a whole lot better. That's right. It will shift you on the inside. Now, the living letters, the samich, the mem, the chet, and the hey, say this. They bring forth this whenever they present themselves as the word simcha. Revealing the hand of the staff separates us from the chaos. Woo! In other words, the one who has the staff in his hand, the shepherd that has the staff, he is the one who will set us in the camp of the joy. He is the one who will cloak us in the joy of righteousness. He is the one that we want to catch that energy from because he is that wall that separates us from the chaos of the world, the chaos that's going on at work, the chaos anywhere else. And a place that you can find this in scripture is when David, now David has been out doing what David did. And <laughs> you mean Saul has killed his thousands and David has killed his 10,000? That was not a simcha, just saying. <laughs> yeah. It, but, exactly. <laughs> but David then goes and he makes a covenant with Yochanan, his covenant friend. And what do they do? It's very symbolic. They exchange garments. Yes. Hello, somebody. And so what David then uh, does is comes into the camp and all of a sudden the energy, the wave of energy that he is riding comes in before him. The ladies that are in the camp pick up the tambourines. They pick up the three stringed instruments. They pick up all of those things and begin to create a song and begin to sing it with joy. In other words, what is David is bringing into the camp is the energy and it causes them. These instruments weren't used every day. That's right. And they were only used at special occasions or sp for specific things that were happening. But the spontaneous energy causes them to pick them up and give this shout of joy in the camp because he's coming in. You've just said a whole lot there. Now, <laughs> let me just explain a little bit more because they what were they so excited about? David had just killed some people. <laughs> what they were excited about was it was their enemies that had been wreaking havoc with them. And they were free from the tyranny mm -hmm. of their enemies. David led a group of men out. And because they did what they did to the enemy, now the women and the children and the young boys and young girls could live in peace. The old men and old women mm -hmm. wouldn't have to be looking That's over good. their shoulders and worrying about their children or their so wives or, or elderly parents. So David good. freed them from the problems of their lives. Right. And that's what Simcha does. So if you're struggling with issues in your life, if you're having a difficult time, pick up that music. Pick up, put on the music that lifts your heart. If you play an instrument, play that instrument. Right before we were mm -hmm. filming, I went over and <laughs> picked up an instrument that that's I play, a guitar, <laughs> and was strumming on the instrument just to increase my frequency mm -hmm. so that you could catch the truth of what this wonderful word simcha really means. It is a pathway out from feeling bad, from being overwhelmed with life and the demands and everything we're facing now. There's a great scripture that says the joy of the Lord is your strength. Come on. And so with the word simcha, we are um, able, if we step into it, it'll change us on the inside. That's it. And we will, but for that to happen, you've got to do something different that's associated with simcha. A celebration, good music, and doing something, playing an instrument if right. you do but stepping into the reality of it. I just had another great memory sort of pop up. Wonderful. <laughs> when I was living in Jerusalem, one of the things I loved the most is when an Israeli friend of mine would say, Yana, come to our Simcha. 
Come over. We're going to have a simcha tonight. Mm. And it was a celebration. Maybe a, a Yom Kulet Sameh. Maybe a birthday. Maybe a, a just for fun. It's been 30 days and we haven't had fun. And mm. so now we want to have fun. Mm -hmm. And they were always so beautiful. And there was no craziness. There was a lot of talk, a lot of laughter. What makes them the most happy, the people of Israel, is to be together, Amen. to talk and that's to good. laugh mm -hmm. and to and to just communicate and connect. Well, <laughs> that's a simcha. And we pray for you that wherever you are in life right now, that a simcha, you would understand the word simcha and enter in, that you would experience, feel a simcha inside of your heart. So good. Well, we hope that you've enjoyed this today and that you can leave after watching this with joy, that you can go out with joy and allow the trees to begin to dance over you today. <laughs> we look forward to seeing you the next time. And for now, we are the, the Hebrew, Hebrew sisters. sisters. Shalom. Shalom.